ESPN welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Moments ago, the toss of the coin. The referee Craig Rollstadt, the honorary captain for the Redskins, former Navy SEAL Rob O'Neill, who was a veteran of 400 combat missions, and he was a part of the Navy SEAL Team 6 that took down Osama bin Laden in 2011. They expect a sellout crowd, more than 80,000 on a beautiful night here in Washington, D.C. It was very hot and humid on Saturday with the temperature in the high 90s with high humidity. Right now around 80 degrees and low humidity. Pittsburgh won the toss and deferred, so Chris Boswell will kick off. Chris Thompson and Will Blackman back deep. And for the Steelers and the Redskins, the season is underway. With a touchback with the new rule that will come out to the 25-yard line. Washington led by Kirk Cousins. Last year led the National Football League in completion percentage at just under 70% overall, but better than that at home. 74.7% broke a record held by Drew Brees, and he threw for 4,166 yards. Also, the Redskins' single-season record. A great year for Cousins. But he talked openly, John, yesterday about not wanting to be a one-hit wonder. He knows to be regarded as a great quarterback in the league, you have to sustain it. He throws short. Jordan Reed, the do-it-all tight end with a 12-yard gain and a first down. Hey, the statistics are great for Cousins, but when you have success, you acquire confidence. And Kirk Cousins, in his first year coming into training camp as a starter, has asserted himself as the leader of this football team, and I think he's going to come out firing a lot tonight. Fifth-year veteran out of Michigan State. He hands it off to Matt Jones, and he gets plastered on his first carry. Ryan Shazier with the initial hit down low. Jones with the departure of Alfred Morse to the Dallas Cowboys will be the featured back. Deshaun Jackson, your brother Jay Gruden told us yesterday, he's healthy, and he's never seen him faster in practice. That's fast. In a contract year, which sometimes makes you even faster. Talented offensive line, led by the left tackle, Trent Williams. Coach Gruden, Jay, that is, says he's the best left tackle in the league. Plenty of time for Cousins, and the ball dropped by Jordan Reed with Lawrence Timmons, the veteran linebacker. Now in his 10th year in coverage for Pittsburgh. Timmons does it all for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and you're going to see him in zone coverage just keying the quarterback. And on the right side of your screen, Jordan Reed hooks over the ball. And right off time is Lawrence Timmons, now 30 years old, still very productive. And on third down and long, expect anything from defensive coordinator Keith Butler. This is where the Steelers love to be. They were very good on third down last year. The Redskins, 44%, fifth best in the league. Just a four-man rush. Cousins throw a little bit low. Reed showing his athleticism has the first down to the Pittsburgh 49. That's all Jordan Reed. That's a poor throw by Kirk Cousins. The protection is outstanding, but this ball is thrown below the knees. And watch Jordan Reed catch this ball away from his body, make Lawrence Timmons miss in the open field and dive for a critical first down. When you can convert third and tens against the Pittsburgh Steelers, hard to do. Reed at 87 catches a year ago. That was the Washington franchise record for a tight end. A former quarterback in high school in New London, Connecticut, and also played some quarterback to the University of Florida. Cousins incomplete. The catch made by Ryan Grant. But he's out of bounds. Here's the Pittsburgh defense, the leader of the front. One of the team captains, Cameron Hayward. And they're looking for more this year, coach, from Jarvis Jones, former first-round pick now in his fourth year, really hasn't emerged as they had hoped. And they didn't pick up his fifth-year option. A lot of pressure on Jones to deliver. 
And again, in these second and long predictable passing situations, look for Jones to do what he does best. That's rush the passer. Play clock down to one on the delay. Matt Jones in trouble and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Penetration from Cameron Hayward. Been bothered recently by an ankle injury, but you just can't get him off the field. A lot of deception on this running play, and it didn't fool Cameron Hayward, who just disengages from Trent Williams and stuffs Matt Jones. Hayward, an outstanding player, hasn't been to a Pro Bowl, but what you love about him the most is his stamina. He can go hard for a long period of time. Played an 80 straight game since entering the National Football League. Can they convert on another third and long? Four man rush again, well protected. Reed again showing his athleticism in space. Doesn't get the first down. About a yard shy, and Jay Gruden has a decision to make. Fourth and a long one. And Jay Gruden, who has an assortment of tight ends, is going to elect the punt. Do you like the decision or you want to blast your brother right out of the game? <laughs> I, I think I'll take a shot at my brother. I might go for it at home in the opener, but you never know. I've seen a couple fake punts early in the season. Let's see if they punt it or they go for the fake. That'll be good field position and good down and distance to try it. The Tressway punts it away. Eli Rogers, the rookie, playing in his first NFL game, makes the fair catch. 28-yard punt. And the Pittsburgh offense will take over at the 13-yard line when we come back. ESPN's Monday Night Football is brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. And by NFLShop.com. Get free shipping on orders today at the official store of the NFL. First possession of the season for Ben Roethlisberger. And the Pittsburgh Steelers offense. Scoreless game just underway. Big Ben. And the Steelers begin from the 13. D'Angelo Williams, the running back. Jesse James, the new starting tight end, the motion man. Williams, the 33-year-old, back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Good penetration by Chris Baker, number 92. Roethlisberger, the all-time leading passer in yardage and in touchdowns in Steelers history. And John mentioned, despite missing four games last year and parts of four others, he threw 16 interceptions, his most since 2006 when he led the league with 23. Right away in a no huddle, here comes Roethlisberger. Very quick throw, first career catch for Eli Rogers. Been all of last year injured with a broken foot. And Ben Roethlisberger told us last night, Coach, he could be the best slot receiver they've had since Ben's been there. That's saying a lot because they had a guy named Heinz Ward who wasn't too bad. <laughs> Third down and five. Watch Roethlisberger at the line of scrimmage. Try to recognize what defense the Redskins are in and try to get the Steelers in the best play selection. Will Compton in the start of the chess game with Ross Roethlisberger looking him right in the eyes, as you saw. D'Angelo Williams belted down along the near sideline. The original wrap-up from Sua Cravens, a rookie out of USC, second-round draft choice. Cravens, a hybrid player at USC. I didn't know what Cravens was. Was he a safety? Was he a linebacker? Defensive coordinator Joe Barry has inserted him as a dime linebacker to make those one-on-one -on -one space tackles against gifted backs like D'Angelo Williams. Good start for the Redskin defense. And we saw on the graph if he was both a defensive back and a linebacker at USC Cravens. Here's the Australian Jordan Barry to punt. Jamison Crowder back deep. He has some room and he made a fair catch. Wow, if he had that to do over again, he would. There wasn't anyone near him. 46-yard punt. Three catches on the first possession for Reed. He'll be back out on offense after this.
three and out for the Washington defense. Their first time on the field tonight, but still tempers flaring. Josh Norman into it early with his new teammates, including a new Redskin, David Bruton, who's over from Denver this year. No score, second possession for Washington. From the 33, Matt Jones out to the 37. Tackled by Jarvis Jones. Got to get Matt Jones in the Washington Redskin running game going. They're the only team in the league that doesn't have a back that has over 500 yards. Injuries, fumbling concerns have plagued Jones, but he has a lot of talent. He needs to get some confidence early. Cousins all day to throw. Caught to Sean Jackson showing his great speed. And out of bounds at the Pittsburgh 31 yard line chased out by the safety Mike Mitchell there's a lot of different coverages you can play but you don't want Lawrence Timmons covering Deshaun Jackson on anything one coverage by the Steelers and Deshaun Jackson in his career 17.7 yards a pop puts him in rare company over Expect the, the blitz, Sean. Excuse me here. It's time for Keith Butler to bring some of those well-documented blitzes that we've seen from him as the new defensive coordinator of the Steelers. Well, they haven't come after Cousins, and he's had plenty of time well protected by the offensive line. Back to the run. Nice hole for Jones. And a hard-earned eight yards to the Pittsburgh 23-yard line. The Pittsburgh defensive coordinators Keith Butler in his second season after a long stint as their linebackers coach. You know, they gave up a lot of yards, 21st in the league. You hear some criticism, but they only gave up 19.9 points a game. They were better in the red zone. They had more sacks, more turnovers. A lot of young players on this Steeler defense, and veterans like Timmons has to raise everyone's play right now. Cousins, the quick pop, deflected and almost intercepted. Went off the hands of Russ Cockrell. Ross couldn't grab it. <laughs> That's what Intended we're talking about. Jackson. It's that overload blitz on the left side of the screen. Here they come. He sees it all the way, and he wants to throw one of those RPOs to Deshaun Jackson, and they're not on the same page. A RPO is a run pass option. You have a running play called with a built-in pass option, and the Redskins are lucky that time now third down and two five receivers spread the formation a sinker from Cousins and a good catch Deshaun Jackson for the first down with Cockrell in coverage but that personnel grouping is a difficult one for Pittsburgh they have three tight ends on the field and they isolate Deshaun Jackson let's see if he makes this catch Looked like he had both elbows underneath the ball. Good concentration, big first down. But these tight ends, Sean, the addition of Niles Paul, who came back from an injury, and the veteran Vernon Davis to go with Jordan Reed gives Washington tight ends they haven't had before. They used tackles at the tight end position last year. Opponents knew they wouldn't throw it to them. Jones again. You made the observation as you watched him. He is a very upright runner who takes a lot of hits, and he's been pounded a bit already. He has, and he's taken a lot of shots in the preseason. One against the Jets. Put him on the shelf for a few weeks. He's got to learn when and when not to unload on defenders. He's got to do a better job staying on the field, and you got to like his last three runs. He is a big back that can get downhill. Chris Thompson has come in to take his place. He goes wide to the left. An excellent receiver. Cousins again with time. Lost for the end zone. Broken up in the back of the end zone. Intended for Jordan Reed. He wanted a flag against Ryan Shazier, the linebacker, running with the tight end in coverage. That is a great job by Shazier. It's a blitz coming off the left side of your screen. And Washington picks it up and they're going to get Jordan Reed running right down the field one-on-one -on -one with Ryan Shazir who does an outstanding job covering one of the premier receiving tight ends in football that's big time by Shazir third and six Cousins five out of nine for 76 yards
Again time and again a low throw. Tried to zing it to Jamison Crowder and it was off target. Cousins has not been sharp early in this game. That time Crowder coming back to the inside is open and Kirk just missed the throw. He's been low tonight. That's the third time tonight he's been off target and low. I'm sure quarterback coach Matt Cavanaugh is going to have some words with Cousins. Cool it. There's Hopkins. Dustin Hopkins. But his second year with the Redskins took over last season and had a great year as you saw by the numbers 25 for 28. This is a 31 yard try. And the Redskins are first on the board. With 5.56 to go in the first quarter. Washington three and Pittsburgh nothing. Field where the Washington Redskins lead the Pittsburgh Steelers three to nothing. Sean McDonough with John Gruden and Lisa Salters on the sideline. Dustin Hopkins to kick off. Sammy Coach back deep with Fitzgerald Toussaint for Pittsburgh. With the new touchback rule with the ball coming out to the 25. A lot of kickoff teams in the preseason have pooched it and tried to stop the returner short of the 25-yard line. But Jay Gruden said, we tried the pooch in the preseason and we gave up a touchdown. He likes the touchbacks. And you like Ben Roethlisberger. It's been interesting how the perception of him has changed a bit over the years. He doesn't get the credit for how he's playing the quarterback position. He's calling his own plays, Sean, when he's out here in this no-huddle offense. It's a credit to him. He's using the snap count to recognize the defense. Then he's got to communicate what play he wants run. The challenge for Roethlisberger is he's got a lot of new faces. 81, Jesse James at tight end replacing Heath Miller. You said it, Eli Rogers, number 17, Sammy Coates. Can these young guys play to Ben Roethlisberger's ability and experience? He's always been appreciated for his physical talents and his size and strength, and now appreciated for his mind as well. Quick hitter to Antonio Brown. He slides ahead to the 30-yard line. Brown, the big weapon for Ben Roethlisberger, 375 catches the last three years. Rodgers and Coates trying to fill the void alongside Antonio Brown. And Antonio told us last night he thinks they will. Fans around the country don't know much about Rodgers and Coates, but the Steelers think they're very talented. They just haven't had the chance. They have it tonight. D'Angelo Williams on second and five. Patiently navigated his way to the 34-yard line, one yard shy of the first down. Chris Baker the tackle. Angelo Williams, the all-time leading rusher in the Carolina Panthers, all you read about is how old he is. <laughs> but every time you watch him play, he makes a lot of yards. For his career, he's averaging almost 4.8 yards a carry. He caught 40 passes and scored 11 touchdowns, and he's got to carry the load while Le'Veon Bell is back home. As he did last year when Bell missed much of the season. Bell played in only six games last year. Washington blitzes on third and one. They didn't get there. And it's a catch for Eli Rogers. Trying to dance away from Josh Norman. He's down at the 46-yard line of Washington. A 20-yard game. One of the reasons Antonio Brown has been so hard to defend is they've had other people take the pressure off him. And here's Rogers on a shallow cross. You see Jesse James, 81, run some interference. And... Josh Brown, late to arrive, big first down for the Steelers. The two early catches for Rodgers in his NFL debut. Undrafted out of Louisville a year ago. He was a teammate and very close friend of Teddy Bridgewater. And a drop by Sammy Coates. Redskins looking for improvement of the defense this year particularly in the past defense. The star is Ryan Kerrigan, one of the all-time sack leaders in Redskins history with 47 and a half. And Jay Gruden says the strength of that defense behind Will Compton is the secondary. A lot of new faces, particularly at safety for David Bruton, the ex-Denver Bronco man's a strong safety position. He was primarily a special teams player in Denver for seven years, started only eight times at safety. Roethlisberger on second and ten, intended for Rodgers, and intercepted. 
by Bashad Braley. And he's out of bounds in Pittsburgh territory. We just talked about it. You have young players playing critical positions. Rodgers and Roethlisberger clearly not on the same page, and this will test any veteran quarterback's patience. Left side of your screen, you're going to see Eli Rodgers working in the middle of the field. Roethlisberger has good protection. It almost appeared that Ben expected Rodgers to turn over the opposite shoulder, and there's Brashad Breeland quietly becoming a very good defender for this Redskin defense. I'd take a look on that sideline. I'll bet Todd Haley, the offensive coordinator, is visiting with Rodgers right now. Can't have that in the middle of the field. After the turnover, a 26-yard return on target. Cousins to Jamison Crowder. And he has another Washington first down. Anthony Ciccolo, a backup linebacker made the tackle and Cousins brings them toward the line quickly. And here comes Vernon Davis, the ex-San Francisco 49er. And last year they used an offensive tackle as a tight end when they went to their two tight end sets. The one thing that's obvious about Davis is he can still run and he is the one tight end on his team that can block the point of attack. He reconnected the line at the other end. Cousins pass complete. Pierre Garçon, the veteran, his first catch of the night, and he took it down to the 20-yard line. Ross Cockrell made the stop. There's Sean McVay, the youthful offensive coordinator for the Redskins, just 30 years old. He's going to be a great one, and he's got a lot of weapons at his disposal. He told me left tackle Trent Williams wants to catch passes. they got a lot of guys that he can utilize, and I'd be surprised if he doesn't keep throwing it, but you can see he's using a lot of these no-back sets against the Steeler defense. And again, Wolfsburg not living up to the name so far tonight. And a flag down for a procedure call. Ball start offense, number 78, double clutch to snap. Five yard penalty, second down. Well, you talk about Jay Gruden, your brother, he loves the tight ends, and it gives you a lot of versatility when it comes to formations and personnel groupings. Well, you got one back two tight ends or one back three tight ends, and last year the Redskins had to use tackles as tight ends. But with the return of Niles Paul, who's a real versatile tight end, the addition of Vernon Davis and Jordan Reed, these two personnel groupings become difficult on defenses because you don't know if you should play your base or your sub-defense against these great receivers. Second and nine for the 25. Four-man rush again. Cousins, this time pressured, had to throw it away. There's a pass rush. And it's been coming from the same place tonight. 97, Cameron Hayward at defensive tackle. Getting some push on Corey Lichtensteiger, the center. and Might be an intentional grounding, I think. Cousins was no in the pocket. grounding as 86 was in the area. Third down. That's what they were looking for. And on third down and nine, let's see if Keith Butler brings some pressure to try to knock Washington out of field goal position. 2-0-1 to go in the first quarter. Washington in field goal range already has a field goal from Hopkins. Just a three-man rush from the Steelers. Cousins off his back foot, caught by Garcon, but he's chopped down immediately. Robert Golden now is starting safety, primarily a special teams player in his first four years with the Steelers, made a big tackle in space. That's a bad play by Cousins. He's got to recognize it's a three-man rush. The Steelers bluff the blitz. It's a three-man rush. Push up in the pocket. Let something happen down the field. Use your legs a little bit against some of these three-man rushes. Here's Hopkins again. But that's good Pittsburgh defense once again in the red zone. This will be a 40-yard field goal attempt. Out of the hole to the punter, Tress Way. Veteran long snapper, Nick Thunberg. Good pressure off the edge from the Steelers, but the kick is up and good. Artie Burns, a rookie out of Miami, almost got there. There is a flag down. 
against Pittsburgh. We'll have to get the band to stop for just a moment. Offside is the call. It would not be a first down, so Jay Gruden has a decision to make. He wants to take the points off the board. Offside, defense, number 25. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is a field goal. Timeout. Well, that's why Burns got close to blocking it. 6-0, Washington late in the first. We're back just outside our nation's capital. Washington Redskins opening this 2016 season in Landover, Maryland. There's talk of a new stadium, but they have a lease here through 2027, so it's not likely to happen anytime soon. Three possessions for Washington, all of them made it into Pittsburgh territory, but just two field goals for Justin Hopkins, who kicks off to Sammy Coates and Fitzgerald Tucson. Signed him last year because they liked his big leg on kickoffs, and he's a touchback machine. And Pittsburgh find a rhythm on offense. We'll find out after this. 6-0 Washington late in the first quarter. Steelers getting ready to go back to work on offense. Delighted to have Marquise Pouncey back, one of the best centers in the NFL. Missed all of last year with a broken leg, suffered in the preseason. And he and his mates have a number of challenges with the noise tonight and largely a no-huddle offense run by Ben Roethlisberger. Under center on first down, Ben in trouble! The ball is out as he got knocked down and the Redskins had it for a moment and then it came out again. Ryan Kerrigan seemed to have the ball in his possession, but it came out of his grasp. And now it's the strongest man at the bottom of the pile wins second down for Pittsburgh. That's a big break for the Steelers. Ball is going to be clearly out. Kerrigan strips it, finds it, picks it up, and there's Pouncey, the man you just talked about, making a great play for Pittsburgh. Roethlisberger lost only two fumbles all of last year and did not lose one on a sack. Fortunate that that did not happen there. Second and 22. Back out of the gun. And a screen for D'Angelo Williams with blockers out in front of him. Got the lost yardage back and then a couple more. Will Compton took him down. It'll be third down and eight. It's a great call by Todd Haley, the offensive coordinator. Screen pass to D'Angelo Williams right off the left side. You'll see 51. Compton come from right to left. He's got to come a long way to make this tackle. You can see why he was the grinder. Great effort by Compton. The end of the first quarter. There's 41 yards of offense for Todd Haley in Pittsburgh. Back in Landover, Maryland at FedEx Field. Start of the second quarter. Pittsburgh down six to nothing, facing third and eight. The Steelers at their own 27-yard line. Roethlisberger, plenty of time, throws, and a great catch in traffic made by the great Antonio Brown. Great catch and great throw by Big Ben. That's having confidence in your go-to receiver. Step up in the pocket, throw the ball with some anticipation and trust your receiver. And Antonio Brown, watch him snatch this ball, bring it back to his body to protect the catch. Great work. Justin Smith almost got to Roethlisberger on that last pass. Two catches for Brown. Ben back under center. D'Angelo Williams shot down by Josh Norman after an eight-yard run. David Johnson 
does an excellent job coming across the formation to kick out the backside and set this cut back up. Watch Johnson come all the way across the formation and kick out Ryan Kerrigan. A beautiful cutback design run by Pittsburgh. On second and two, Williams. First down, the cross midfield of the 49, Kedrick Golston made the tackle for Washington. And this Redskin run defense heavily scrutinized throughout the offseason. 31st against the run last year. Gave up 4.8 yards per carry, and Pittsburgh knows it. They're going to test this defensive line. A lot of new faces up front for the Redskins. Including Ziggy Hood, the former Steeler, number 90. Williams runs in his direction. And he's taken down at the 46. Hood at the bottom of the pile with Will Compton. These are old school Pittsburgh Steeler running plays. Double teams, pulling guards, downhill runs. And D'Angelo Williams checks out of the game. Here's our first look, Sean, at Fitzgerald Toussaint who played a key role in the playoffs last year for the Steelers. Third-year man out of Michigan. <laughs> Play fake two to Sock. Ben dumps it off the tight end. Jesse James lowers his head and has a first down. Another tackle for Josh Norman at the 38-yard line, a pickup of eight. Jesse James, you talk about somebody facing pressure. Le'Veon Bell's out, Martavis Bryant's out, but they lost Heath Miller. And Heath Miller did it all for 11 years. That's a lot of production to replace Jesse James. The ex Nittany Lion out of Penn State gets the first crack at it. Nice work. Sox gets his first carry of the night down to the 35-yard line. It was interesting talking to Ben Roethlisberger last night about Heath Miller said he was the best teammate he's ever had. He did it all. He could line up at wide receiver, make plays under serious fire. Outstanding blocker. You could pull him in the running game. He could find linebackers and create holes, and he could pass protect. And it's hard to find tight ends in this modern world of football that can do all three of those things as well as Heath Miller did it for 11 years. A lot to replace Jesse James, a lot to prove. Second and eight, the play fake. Roethlisberger has his man. Brown, the ball is out after the catch. And Washington has it. Will Compton recovers for the Redskins. The second Pittsburgh turnover. Guess who? If you line up Antonio Brown on the right, you're going to see Josh Norman. And Norman, late on arrival, gets that left hand in there and strips Antonio Brown. Let's see if he had possession. Perhaps Mike Tomlin is going to take a look at this. The ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. Third down. Been ruled an incomplete pass now after a conversation among the officials. And I think it is incomplete. Well, again, this year we'll have Jerry Austin in the booth with us. Twice the referee in the Super Bowl game. And Jerry, do you think that was a good call on the incomplete pass? Well, he gets two hands on the ball and brings it in, but he does not do something else with the ball. And that's the third step of the process, and that was not completed. So incomplete, I believe, is the correct call. Third down and eight. Time for the Redskins to find their pass rush. Baker 92, Ziggy Hood inside, and Preston Smith at the bottom of the screen, number 94. A young second-year player they're counting on in these third and long situations. I believe Jay Gruden might be challenging the call on the field. Washington is challenging the ruling on the field of incomplete pass. And 
And while they take a look at the video, we'll take a timeout. ESPN's Monday Night Football is brought to you by Nissan. And by GoDaddy.com, domains, websites, 24-7 personal support. Get yours now at GoDaddy.com. The Steelers, founded by the legendary Art Rooney, back in 1933, a record six Super Bowl championships won by the Steelers, still under the ownership of the Rooney family. After review, the, the receiver had not established possession and become a runner. Therefore, it is an incomplete pass. It'll be third down and eight at the 36-yard line, Pittsburgh. Washington will be charged for the first time out. Well, Jerry, that's what you said. But how much more did he have to do? Because he started to make a move. He started to turn with his left hip up the field. I think you've got to definitively say he made a move. Mm -hmm. And if you can say he made a move, then you have a completion. He starts to make a move, but it's out, and that makes it incomplete. Well, Pittsburgh has caught a break twice. Roethlisberger lost the fumble that Washington had momentarily. And then the Steelers got it back, and Ryan Kerrigan couldn't hang on. And now this one goes their way as well. Third down and eight on the edge of field goal range. Over the middle, Jesse James worked to do, didn't get there. The ball came out after he hit the ground. He's ruled down just a little bit shy of the yard to make. And a flag. There's no flag on the play for a late hit as the player was pushed. Fourth down. And Decision the offense time. still on the field for Pittsburgh. Indeed, Sean, and it looks like Mike Tomlin is going to go for this. Fourth and one. D'Angelo Williams, an outstanding short yardage back. Expect him to run right behind DeCastro at right guard. Castro an all-pro. The play fake and the throw to the end zone for Antonio Brown. Touchdown, oh. Pittsburgh. What a call by Todd Haley. A predictable man-to-man -man situation. They set Antonio Brown up away from Josh Norman, and they go after Brashad Breeland for six. Gutty call. Great throw and great play. They have a tendency to run right behind the Castro at right guard in short yardage situations. But the Steelers knew Josh Norman was going to be on the left, so they positioned Brown against Breland. Roethlisberger pulls the ball out of D'Angelo's chest and rips it. And now Chris Boswell for the extra point. That gives Pittsburgh its first lead of the night on the first touchdown of the game. You throw an interception to a young receiver on one series, the veteran quarterback put the wheels back on the wagon and finds his veteran pro bowler, Brown, to take the lead. The future Hall of Famer, Ben Roethlisberger, with another milestone, that touchdown pass to Antonio Brown, the 273rd of his career, tying the great Joe Montana for 13th all-time. Ben's gone over 43,000 career passing yards tonight. He passed Dan Fouts on the all-time yardage list for 12th all-time. Chris Boswell kicks off. And Chris Thompson will not bring it out. I'm not sure this wasn't a running play. I think they want to run the ball on fourth and one. And they have one of these RPOs. It's a loaded box. They want to run the ball to D'Angelo Williams. You see all the Redskins up in the hole and Big Ben. Flashes a hand signal to Antonio Brown. What a play by those two Pittsburgh Steelers. Roethlisberger seems to get better with time. Let's see if Washington can respond. It hit a lot of adversity. Mm. Call went against them. Fourth and one. Pittsburgh takes the lead. Let's see what Kirk Cousins is made of. 
Goes on a quick count on first and 10 from the 25. Looking deep. And has his man, Deshaun Jackson, into Pittsburgh territory. At the 45-yard line with the safety, Mike Mitchell, making the tackle. Yeah, Jay Gruden uses a speed break. They come out of the huddle fast before Pittsburgh is ready. And if Deshaun Jackson gets a free release, look out. Twenty-nine yard gain. They're moving the ball now to the 42 yard line of Pittsburgh. Seems like Jackson came to training camp much more focused, injury free, added some muscle. And I think competing with Josh Norman on a daily basis has elevated Jackson, who's in a contract year. As they re spotted the ball, it's now a 33 yard gain for Jackson. And a timeout called by the Redskins. Jackson, big play for Washington. 9-17 to go in the first half. Pittsburgh leading 7-6, but the Redskins for the fourth time of the game in Pittsburgh territory. Running room for Matt Jones, and he's banged down. With a flag down to the offensive backfield, Jones down with an eight-yard gain if it stands. Holding, offense, number 85. 10-yard penalty, replay, first down. Big penalty on Vernon Davis, negates that run. Redskins were in the red zone on the previous series. They had a false start. Let's take a look at Vernon Davis. That's clearly a tackle right there on a little wham play. You bring a tight end in to block one of these defensive tackles, and that was a pretty easy call to make. First year back home with the Redskins for Vernon Davis, who went to high school with Dunbar in the District of Columbia. Played at the University of Maryland. Looked like the left tackle was moving early. Trent Williams, and they do stop the play. Ball start. Offense. Number 71. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. You want to use all these dummy snap counts and try to read the deployment of the Steelers. And sometimes these offensive linemen are in their stance a long time. And that's back-to-back -back careless penalties. And Jay Gruden not happy at all. I've seen that look before. I bet you have. Well, he's seen the Chucky face more than just about anybody else, I would guess. Five receivers for Cousins on first and 25. Short over the middle for Jamison Crowder, who had a terrific rookie season last year with 59 catches most ever by a Redskins rookie. That played good for nine. Crowder doesn't get the attention that he deserves. He's overshadowed by Deshaun Jackson, Pierre Garçon, Jordan Reed, but the young man can return punts, return kickoffs. He's tough, he's reliable. Great future ahead of himself. Crowder, second-year man out of Duke. Dave Rudin thought he might be just a punt returner last year, but he earned much more playing time than that. Chris Thompson spun down back at the 43 by Ryan Shazier. And in these long yardage situations, the Steelers have been playing a lot of zone coverage, forcing Cousins to throw the ball underneath. Keep an eye on Jordan Reed, number 86. He's gone quiet here in the second quarter, but against these zone defenses, usually it's Jordan Reed, the primary target. Four possessions for Washington. All have gotten into Pittsburgh territory, but they keep bogging down. And they convert on third and 10. Time for Cousins. Work to do after the catch for Reed. He won't get there. Swarmed under. They'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. Well, Pittsburgh heard me, Sean. They knew that ball was going to go underneath because they were playing a loose zone coverage, and Reed is shaking up a little bit. Now back on his feet, Lawrence Timmons, the tackle, and the decision for Jay Gruden. The offense still on the field with fourth and six. It'd be about a 56-yard field goal from here. Will they 
they snap it or will they try to get them offside? They snap it. Cousins surveys the catch made by Thompson, but he appears to be short of the first down. We await the spot. It was driven back by Timmons, Shazier, and Golden. And from our vantage point, it looked like he got a good spot, but perhaps not good enough to get the first down. That nose of the football, shy of the yellow line. Take a look at it. Golden 21 with help from the underneath coverage. I think this is going to be inches short. Well short, and Pittsburgh will take over on down. Sean McDonough, John Gruden back in Washington, D.C. The Steelers, a formation they like a lot, bunch right. We saw them use it to great effect a little bit earlier. They like to put these three receivers tight on one side of the formation and run the football. They like to run behind right guard David DeCastro. But if they ever single up Antonio Brown, Roethlisberger can hand signal, abort the handoff, and go deep to his best receiver, and that's just what he did. They have a lot of hand signals and a lot of great unspoken communication as well. To Roethlisberger and Brown on the draw. D'Angelo Williams, nifty run. Out to the 38 for a gain of five. Mason Foster to stop. Well, here it is, Sean. Bunch, right. And the Redskins load the box. The running play has no chance. Roethlisberger recognizes it. He communicates it. And he executes it. And when you can do those three things at a high level, you got a chance to win titles. That's why Roethlisberger's always in the money. On second and five out of the gun. Underneath Jesse James got submarine near the first down marker by D'Angelo Hall. The 13-year veteran out of Virginia Tech who made the transition from corner to safety a year ago. You know, you're not allowed to tackle high anymore. Here's D'Angelo Hall recognizing it all the way. And Credit the 13-year veteran who made a lot of plays as a corner to make this adjustment late in his career. I saw Charles Woodson do it. I've seen Rod Woodson, Ronnie Lott. A lot of players have done it. They think Hall has a home at free safety, and they need his playmaking skills. Roethlisberger and Brown with verbal communication this time. They measured, and the Steelers are inches short of the first down. And we saw on that touchdown play out of bunch right, John, Brown was matched up with Rashad Breeland. To go back to the point you made at the top of the telecast, the Redskins are going to keep their corners left and right with Norman on the defensive left and Breeland on the right. And a lot of teams do this. The great Richard Sherman doesn't flip sides in Seattle. A lot of corners stay left and right, and you see Brown or excuse me, Norman, at the top of the screen, once again, on the left side of the Redskin defense. They motion Brown back into the backfield. And they hand it off inside to D'Angelo Williams for a first down. Let's take a look at the matchup that we have had when you have seen Brown and Norman. Hasn't been often, but most of the time you've seen Norman covering the flat. Not a lot of real action except for this post pattern that was reviewed in the Steelers' favor. And I don't blame Pittsburgh for working the other way. D'Angelo Williams across midfield and taken down by Bashad Breland. Two yards short of the line to make, an eight-yard gain. Ziggy Hood also in on the play for Washington. I like the right side of the Steeler offensive line. The Castro and Gilbert, two men that have played at a high level for a while. And look at Gilbert's left elbow. He's got a hyper-extended elbow. He hurt that against the Saints. Not 100%. Tough guy. Athletic. Said he's going to try to fight through it for the whole year. Eventually might require surgery. 
Angela Williams trying to cross the formation, taken down near the line of scrimmage by Preston Smith. And it'll be a third down and a yard for Pittsburgh, under four minutes to go in the half. And the Steelers leading seven to six. And here comes the big people once again, 82. Tight end David Johnson. Let's see if they set up another running formation. And Antonio Brown at the bottom of the screen once again looking for one-on-one -on -one coverage against Prashad Breland. I think Roethlisberger is lighting up like a Christmas tree. And it shows the confidence Joe Barry, the coordinator for Washington, has in Breland, leaving him out there on an island. They'll run it this time against that loaded box. And Williams almost broke free. He did get the first down with a couple of extra yards. Tackled by David Bruton. And Mike Tomlin knows they were very close to breaking that for a touchdown. That's two short yardage conversions by D'Angelo Williams. Right off the right side at 66 to Castro at the point of attack. There's not a lot there, but one of the great traffic runners in the NFL, the 33-year-old D'Angelo Williams getting it done. 38 yards rushing for D'Angelo Williams in his 11th year. The oldest running back in the league at 33. Eli Rogers inside the 40 and down at the 38. Will Compton with late help from Mason Foster on the tackle. Got to admire pro football players that step up when they get their opportunity. And last year, D'Angelo Williams did just that. And all the adversity surrounding Le'Veon Bell, that's a lot of production to replace. And when you can get this kind of performance, that's awesome. Great work by Williams. Two-minute warning. Season debut of Monday Night Football from Landover, Maryland. After we're finished here in the nation's capital, our season opening Monday Night Football doubleheader continues on the West Coast. The San Francisco 49ers hosting the Los Angeles Rams. Catch all the action right here on ESPN. And, of course, it's streaming live on Watch ESPN. Chris Berman, Steve Young, Lindsey Zarniak will have the call for you. Two-minute warning of the opening half. Then Roethlisberger and the Steelers leading 7-6 and looking at second and five at the Washington 38-yard line. Screen, and Williams dropped the ball. Chris Baker had pressure, forced a high lob throw from Roethlisberger. That's what happens when I praise somebody, Sean. Usually they turn around and mishandle a throw. It's a high ball away from his body, but Williams should love it. Third down, bottom of the screen. Villanueva at left tackle. Kerrigan got home against Villanueva for a sack early. Let's see if Kerrigan, the best pass rusher of the Redskins, can get it done. Steelers four out of six on third down. The late hand signal and the snap on one and the quick hitter again. The hand signals used to great effect. D'Angelo Williams as he have the first down. Doesn't look like it from here. Sua Cravens. And the signal is fourth down. They won't even measure. And when you have Ben Roethlisberger at quarterback and you're Mike Tomlin, don't even think about it. Bunch right, isolate. Antonio Brown at the bottom of the screen, same situation. Oh. And this time they dump it over the middle to Eli Rogers. What a call and great execution for a first down to the 15-yard line. And Ben wants a timeout. They have plenty of time with a minute and 11 to go on all of their timeouts. I believe these are running plays, and they see the loaded box, and Ben Roethlisberger pulls the ball out of Williams' chest. That time he decided not to throw it to Antonio Brown. He popped it to Eli Rogers for a huge first down. Gutsy calls by Mike Tomlin. Two fourth and one calls have put Pittsburgh on the brink of taking a eight-point lead. I'm not sure those coaches like the timeout call, though, John. Plenty of time left. I mean, over a minute to go, and they had all of their timeouts left before Ben used one. Well, they load the box, and they're just going to pull the ball out of the back stomach and pop it 
for a slot receiver. These are running plays, I believe, with built-in pass options, and they put Ben Roethlisberger in control. Why wouldn't you? Future Hall of Famer at his best. Has the Steelers on the move. Two for two on fourth down tonight, the Steelers. Five for five on third and one, or fourth and one tonight. Antonio Brown shifts to the right. Redskins seem confused on defense. Rodgers is open and ducks down inside the nine-yard line with Sua Cravens nearby. And now no hurry for Ben Roethlisberger with a minute to go in the half. If anything, they don't want to leave Washington anytime. Just watch him work. He's in a no-huddle offense, and he's using as much time as he needs to see the matchups that he wants. Around one-on-one -on -one with Breedland, but the safety is creeping over and comes to help. So Ben throws for James, and it's batted down and incomplete. Great play by Bruton, the ex-Denver Bronco. Bruton, you said it earlier, was a special teams player for the Broncos. That time, the veteran safety makes a beautiful play, setting up a third down and four. Keep an eye on Antonio Brown at the bottom of the screen. They have featured him to their left to stay away from Josh Norman. And once again, it's Breland. Ramon Foster, the guard, turns toward Roethlisberger to let him know, let the line know that Ben's ready for the snap. James juggled it but caught it and has a first down inside the five. 30 seconds to go. 31 and the clock stopped by Pittsburgh. That's amazing that he can get rid of the ball that quickly from the shotgun. No laces, just catch it and flip it to your tight end. He saw it was a zone defense, and that's like a point guard in the NBA, Sean. You just catch it, release it, let somebody else make a play. Coming up in just a matter of moments on the Toyota halftime, Susie Culver, Randy Moss, Charles Woodson, Matt Hasselbeck. Trent Dilfer break down the first half and we'll have a preview of the Rams 49ers game the second half of our Monday Night Football doubleheader. Frustrating half for Jay Gruden his offense has moved up and down the field they've had a couple of near turnovers. Now the 14th play of this Pittsburgh drive. First and goal from the three. Quick pass deflected and caught by Rodgers on the ricochet. It hit Sammy Coates and then wound up with Eli Rodgers, his first NFL touchdown. What a way to get your first NFL touchdown. Roethlisberger jams this ball in a crowd. Jay Gruden. All the Gruden family can't believe it. <laughs> this ball bounces. Right off Phillips' hands, it hits Sammy Coates, it ricochets right into Eli Rogers' hands. I'd keep that ball if I was Rogers. That's amazing. I mentioned what a frustrating half it's been for Jay Gruden and the Redskins, and it continues on that play. Another near turnover that winds up a touchdown. 14 play drive in the lead now 14 to 6 for the Steelers. What a debut for Eli Rogers. Sat out all of last year with a foot injury. Mike Tomlin said he would have made the active roster last year as an undrafted free agent. Had it not been for the injury. Six catches and now his first NFL touchdown. The young man from Miami and the University of Louisville. 14 to 6, the lead for Pittsburgh with 27 seconds to go in the half. Chris Boswell will kick off to Chris Thompson and Will Blackman. Well, it's been an up and down night for Eli Rogers. Didn't start particularly well. The interception by Breland apparently the fault of Rogers. He said that to Ben Roethlisberger after the pick but he's atoned for it john yeah well the interception was his fault and that should have been an interception but 
What a way to get your first touchdown. I love seeing young players that keep grinding, that keep working. And some of these young players, all they need is an opportunity and a coach that believes in them. And that's what Rodgers has going for him in Pittsburgh. Todd Haley sings his praises a lot. Conservative play, Chris Thompson charges out near a first down. Redskins with just one timeout left, 18 seconds, and not in a big hurry. As a matter of fact, they're going to take it to the locker room. Well, they spent a lot of the night in Pittsburgh territory. Nearly had three takeaways that didn't wind up in their possession. And Pittsburgh leads 14 to 6 at the half. And Pittsburgh gets the ball to begin the second half. We'll join Susie Culver and the crew for the Toyota halftime right after this break. Opening night for Monday Night Football in this 2016 NFL season. Delighted to have you with us from Landover, Maryland. The Pittsburgh Steelers leading the Washington Redskins 14-6 at the half. Sean McDonough along with John Gruden. Washington had the edge in play for the first quarter, John, but then the second quarter, Pittsburgh really established itself, particularly in short yardage situations. Well, you hear about situational football all the time. Two-minute red zone and short yardage is the determining factor. Third and one, it's all D'Angelo Williams. Then it's another third and one. They pound it off the right side. How about that vision? And then it's fourth and one. And Roethlisberger sees a loaded box, and he sees Antonio Brown all by himself, D'Angelo Hall out of position. That's a running play. He pulls it out of the back's chest and throws a touchdown pass. Then on fourth and one again, a loaded box. He sees Brown again one-on-one, -on -one, but D'Angelo Hall is deep in the middle. So now he pulls it out of Williams' chest and flips it to Eli Rogers. Four huge short yardage conversions, two of them. On fourth down, credit Mike Tomlin, Todd Haley, but once again, stellar play by the veteran Ben Roethlisberger, who's doing a nice job wearing Washington down in this opening game with the no-huddle offense. Easier to convert in those short yardage situations when you have a lot of weapons at your disposal and you have Ben Roethlisberger making the decision. You've talked about the perception of him changing through the years. Great physical talent. That's what he was known for early. Still has that. But he has the mind to go with it as well. And he'll get the football first. Dustin Hopkins to kick off. Five kickoffs in this game. All of them touchbacks. These coaches aren't trying to return the ones that are returnable because they want the ball to 25. Here's Lisa Salter. Hey, Sean, well, I asked Mike Tomlin about those two fourth down plays, especially the fourth and one touchdown throw from Ben Roethlisberger to Eli Rogers. And he said, we practiced those situations all week long, those fourth down situations. And we knew that if they came up tonight, we were going to be, as he called it, thoughtfully aggressive. I specifically asked him if the touchdown throw was the design play or Big Ben making that decision. He said, oh, no, that was the call all the way. So he likes what he's seeing so far, but he was quick to point out 30 minutes doesn't make a football game. Sean? At least 30 more to go. D'Angelo Williams, the lone back, and he gets the handoff. Running left behind the pulling guard, David DeCastro, and a nice seven-yard game to start the half with Will Compton, the tackler. It's a punt patient runner you see de castro at right guard pull to the point of attack and watch d'angelo wait for de castro follow his pulling guard and he knows how to finish runs great back at memphis did it a long time at carolina and he's doing a nice job tonight left the panthers as their all-time leading oh, rusher Play action fake, Roethlisberger in trouble, got away, and it's batted down. Away from D'Angelo Williams by Will Compton. Roethlisberger getting up off the turf, got pressured by Preston Smith. Preston Smith has to make his presence felt in this second half. The young man had eight sacks as a rookie last year out of Mississippi State, came on strong 
at the end of the season. And if Washington wins this game, Preston Smith, Ryan Kerrigan have to pick it up in these third down situations. And they do it on short yardage again. Third and three. The snap it at one. The blitz from Washington. Antonio Brown again with Prashad Breland. Who thought Brown pushed off in coverage. First down, another conversion for Pittsburgh. Now six for nine on third down. Put Brown on the left. Away from Norman and go after Breland. Clearly the game plan of Todd Haley and the Pittsburgh Steelers. You can't stop that. The quickness of Brown and the accuracy of Roethlisberger can beat any coverage. Four catches for Brown. And again, lined up opposite Rashad Breland. Williams across midfield with plenty of running room. And he got chopped down at the 35-yard line of Washington by the safety, D'Angelo Hall. That's a problem play for the Redskins. Second time they have brought a tight end across the formation to kick out Ryan Kerrigan. This time it's number 81, Jesse James bluffing Kerrigan. You see Johnson, 82. Block Kerrigan, and it hits big again. Williams, after a 17-yard run, gets very little the other way. Cedric Golston, David Bruton to tackle. Pittsburgh dominated the second quarter. They had eight first downs in the second quarter to one for Washington. They had the football for 10 minutes and 42 seconds of the second quarter, and they're continuing in the third. They've really got this running game going after the early interception. Roethlisberger has mixed it up nicely. He's been under the center with a nice running game and he's used some play action passes to go with the drop back system that he's so good at but they've done a nice job keeping Washington off balance under center Fitzgerald Tucson took the handoff and fighting for every yard is the Michigan Wolverine inside the 30 and another key third and short Pittsburgh is pounding away at Washington, and the Redskins, who've been on defense a lot, look tired. Look at Baker, 92. Golston, 64. Hands on their hips. And on these third down and short situations, I think Mike Tomlin and Todd Haley are in four-down territory. This is where Pittsburgh has been unstoppable tonight in these third and fourth down short yarded situations. Six out of nine on third down. Again, they take the play clock all the way down. Plenty of time for Roethlisberger. Low throw is the catch made. No, Jesse James was open. And Ben didn't get it to him with Deshaun Phillips in coverage for Washington. Ben unhappy with himself. Ball clearly hit the ground. James was wide open. And I thought they had Antonio Brown wide open as well. Ben disappointed with himself there. And despite all the success tonight in short yardage, they opt for the field goal try. 46-yarder for Chris Boswell. Joined the Steelers week five of last season. Had a great year, 29 out of 32. And this one is right down the middle in his first attempt of 2016. They got points, but Roethlisberger frustrated. Perhaps they left some on the field. ESPN's Monday Night Football is brought to you by Courtyard, the official hotel of the NFL. By GMC, we are professional grade. And by ESPNshop.com, powered by Dick Sporting Goods. After a slow start, Ben Roethlisberger, Todd Haley, the coordinator, the Pittsburgh offense have found a rhythm. Two touchdowns in the field goal in the last three Pittsburgh possessions. The kickoff from Boswell with a 17-6 lead. And another touchback. 
Kirk Cousins and the Redskins offense. They've been in Pittsburgh territory a lot of the night with little to show for it. First possession of the second half for Washington. The five possessions in the football game, the first four all made it to at least the Pittsburgh 40 yard line. They let the half run out on their final possession of the first half, but only two field goals. And now a whistle. Ball start, offense, number 31, five yard penalty, first down. That's just bad football. Too many penalties tonight on this Redskin offense, and when you're a tailback, you can't jump off sides. That's inexcusable. And when you fall behind in the down and distance, and you're down by 11 against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Good luck. Steelers have not been penalized for now against Washington. Matt Jones again upright and again belted. James Harrison, the ageless linebacker, now 38 years old, in on the stop for Pittsburgh. Big part of the leadership of this defense. He stuffed that play all the way. He read draw. He read out of it and made a beautiful James Harrison old school tackle. Made five straight Pro Bowls. Washington is rushed with just 27 yards. You mentioned at the beginning, Coach, they need to find a back. The catch made by Jamison Crowder. James Harrison again in on the stop. Cousins has to be more accurate. Early in a game, low ball to Jordan Reed. Got to let these receivers run with it. Not on the same page. Lucky it wasn't intercepted. Misses Crowder on a critical third down in the red zone. Balls are thrown low behind receivers. Cousins is going to have to catch fire quickly for Washington. Cousins, Crowder, and a fumble, he stripped. It winds up with the Redskins. Carson. After Ryan Shazier ripped it out, Pierre Garcon in the right spot. And it's a first down for Washington out to their 44-yard line. That's great hustle to the football. Bad ball security by Crowder. Shazier strips it. That's just good effort by Pierre Garçon running to the football to set up Washington with a big first down. Hard to believe there's been only one turnover in this game. There have been so many close calls when it comes to turnovers. Again, no blitzing from Pittsburgh. Cousins oh, throws an interception to Shazier. Flag down on the play. Shazier still running inside the 20. What a run by Shazier all the way back to the 10-yard line. The flag is back at the other end of the field at the 35-yard line. Pittsburgh has come in here, played a lot of zone defense, tests the patience of this Redskin offense, and Shazier with a great play, and Kirk Cousins cannot force that football. I think the interception is going to hold, but after the interception, illegal block in the back, intercepting team number 23. That's a 10-yard penalty. First down, Pittsburgh. It's a bad decision by Kirk Cousins in that field position on first down. And when you make mistakes in the middle of the field against linebackers like that, forget about it. Second career interception for Ryan Shazier. The long streak has ended. That's the first interception here at FedEx Field for Kirk Cousins and 253 pass attempts back to week one of last year against the Dolphins. Sean McVay, the offensive coordinator, Jay Gruden, the head coach, in on that conversation. Back on the field, Ben Roethlisberger. That offense in a rhythm. What a catch by Brown. <laughs> For a gain of nothing, the shot Breeland, who's been matched up with him primarily all night long right there again. Well, don't fight zoning linebackers. You're going to take a look at Matt Jones, number 31, check down. He's going to be open. Shazier drops deep underneath that deep cross. you got to pull the ball down and check it to your back. And Cousins knows way better than that. 
First turnover of the game for Washington. The penalty against Mike Mitchell on the return negated a 51-yard run back by Shazier to the Washington 10. Bennett, trouble with the snap, lofts it up, caught! Sammy Coates taken out of bounds in Redskin territory. By D'Angelo Hall, they're going to mark him out at the 33-yard line. What a play by Roethlisberger. It's a bad snap. He fields it. He has no idea what's going on downfield, but he has a presence to pick it up. And remember, he had Greg Toller in bump and run coverage with Sammy Coates. That's amazing. 42-yard gain, first catch of the night for Sammy Coates, second-year man out of Auburn who had only one catch all of last season as he saw action in six games. Roethlisberger takes the check down to D'Angelo Williams, a missed tackle, and it winds up as an eight-yard gain as Mason Foster chased Williams across the boundary. Pittsburgh has Washington on the ropes. D'Angelo Williams makes Bruton look bad in a one-on-one -on -one tackling situation and Rottlesberger looking for the knockout punch. Pressure, Roethlisberger, shovel pass incomplete, dropped by Williams. The pressure from Preston Smith. Another play that won't show up on the stat sheet that Roethlisberger makes. Preston Smith unblocked. And Roethlisberger finds the presence to unload it. Left side of your screen, Jesse James, no match for Roethlisberger and... Great job keeping it down at distance where it is, third and short. At the very least, they're in field goal range for Chris Boswell. Third down and three from the Washington 26. No pressure. Brown has it. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. You're seeing two in the 500th catch for Antonio Brown, and you're seeing two of the very best in the world do what they do best. There is a flag down. Once again, it's Antonio Brown lined up to their left, away from Josh Norman, and they've isolated Breland a couple times. And it's paid off big time. What a throw and catch. They're awaiting the information the about the flag. Good. After the touchdown, unsportsmanlike conduct, Pittsburgh, number 84, that 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Well, putting his experience dancing, unfortunately, to bad use there, he made it to the semifinals of Dancing with the Stars during the offseason, said it was an awesome experience. Apparently, he wasn't quite ready to give up the dancing. <laughs> Think the judges would have liked that? That's why he didn't win it. Boswell. That's the extra point. No Le'Veon Bell, no Heath Miller, no Martavis Bryant. No problem. Ben Roethlisberger, magnificent. And the Steelers are pulling away. Ben Roethlisberger just made history. That completion to Antonio Brown, the 500th connection between the two of them. Sixth catch of the night for Brown. So Ben now has 500 or more completions to three different teammates. The others, Hines Ward and Heath Miller, the only quarterback in the history of the NFL to do that. Peyton Manning is the only quarterback who had done it with two different teammates. Beyond Roethlisberger, Manning completed 953 to Marvin Harrison, 779 to Reggie Wayne with the Colts. I think I could complete passes to Antonio Brown. You might. And you're not very good, Sean, but you no. might be. This guy's a great receiver. And everybody in the stadium knows where the ball's going, and it doesn't matter. When you talk to the Steeler players and coaches about him, it's really a result of the work ethic as much as anything else. Prolific. First return kickoff of the night, Will Blackman. 
former Boston College Eagle brought it back to the 31 before he paid the price. Sean Davis and Shamarco Thomas combine on the stop. Don't well, be surprised. Early, but they haven't done anything lately with Kirk Cousins in this Redskin offense. Excuse me, Sean, but don't be surprised if Washington just doesn't jump into their two-minute offense. They've got to find a way to get Cousins in rhythm. The Steelers have not blitzed. They were known for blitzing coming in here, but it's been a lot of different zone coverages that have paid off tonight. Out of character, but it's worked very well. Matt Jones trying to get something going on the ground. A couple of nice moves. And a 12-yard gain. First down, here's Lisa Salter. Well, Sean, there's a lot of pressure on Kirk Cousins. Yes, he's making $20 million under the franchise tag, but he didn't get the extension that he wanted, so he knows he's got to prove himself all over again this season. One-hit wonder. That's the phrase that he brought up to us. He says he knows that there are people out there who might be thinking that about him, that his success last season, leading the league in completion percentage, maybe that was a fluke. So a lot of pressure on him to do it all over again and prove that he can be the guy here in Washington. So Dan Snyder, the Redskins owner, they want him to be the man going forward. They have faith and belief in him. He's on target to Deshaun Jackson. They talked about a contract extension the offseason they couldn't agree on it and cousins did say he got an amazing raise he made six hundred thousand dollars last year he's making 20 million so no matter how it goes beyond this if you live your life right you're set for life this league is a business kirk knows that everybody knows that he's got to perform to get what he wants and that's what the redskins want well he's got to prove himself he said when he went to michigan state for his official visit he didn't have a scholarship offer. He had to convince them to give him a scholarship, and that worked out well for the Spartans and for Kirk. Again, Deshaun Jackson, the catch. And they're moving again. They're back into Pittsburgh territory for the fifth time tonight. Well, they've got three tight ends on the field. Paul, Vernon Davis, and Jordan Reed. And you would think this is a running formation, but when you split out Davis, Paul, Jordan Reed against the base defense, you create some matchup problems. Here comes a rare Pittsburgh blitz tonight. They rush five and this will stop the play. A false start against Washington. Penalties have killed the Redskins. Mm -hmm. False start. Offense number 78. Five-yard penalty. Josh Lareeb, excuse me, the center, Corey Lichtensteiger. Let's see if he moved the football. It's a point of emphasis. The blitz is going to be coming right up the middle. And Lichtensteiger, I think, turned that football early, and that's been a big point of emphasis. Watch the ball. I don't know what they saw there. He must have got out early. Big penalty. And they have faith in Lichtensteiger, will he trade for Brian Stork in the preseason? Chris Thompson the catch. Stork failed his physical after coming over from New England. The trade got voided. Lichtensteiger remains the center. Keep an eye on these underneath defenders. Shazir, 50. Timmons, 94. The underneath coverage of the Steelers, they're dropping deep. They're forcing the ball underneath, and man, have they come up and made some beautiful tackles. Cousins, caught first down. Pierre Garçon out at the 20-yard line. Russ Cockrell pushed him out. I look down there, I see head coach Mike Tomlin, Sean. He was the secondary coach when I was coaching in Tampa. And this defense they're running, it looks like our defense we ran in Tampa. A lot of zone coverage, not a lot of blitzing. They're forcing the opponent to be patient and self-destruct, and that's what's happened tonight with penalties and the interception by Cousins. Mike Tomlin, a former assistant under my colleague John Gruden with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Jones, another penalty. It's going to be a hold against Washington. Holding. Offense, number 71, 10-yard penalty, replay first down. And John, this has to be tough for you. You're 
fingerprints are really all over this game. Jay obviously is your brother. He coached with you on that same staff with Mike Tomlin. Jay and Mike Tomlin are good friends. And we met with Mike Tomlin last night. He said to you, Coach, you're supposed to do this game. I mean, you have a lot of friends. You have your son on the Redskins sideline as the get-back coach. But you have a lot of people on both sides. Tomlin and your brother were young assistants in 0203 when you led the Buccaneers to the Super Bowl win over the Oakland Raiders. Certainly do. I'm proud of those guys. They mean a lot to me. Cousins, short, caught, Garcon, wrestled down by Sean Davis, the rookie out of Maryland, who grew up right here in Washington, D.C., and has about 25 friends and family members in attendance here tonight that he got tickets for, and probably many others who found their own way in. But this defense of the Steelers has really forced Washington to be patient, and they've not done a good job of that tonight. Watch Cousins. He's had plenty of time to throw the football gonna have to take these underneath completions there's another loose zone cover it's the four-man rush Garcon leaves his way to the 16-yard line Sean Davis in on the stop again with William Gay the 10-year veteran out of Louisville pickup of eight we're down under three minutes to go in the third quarter John would you like to see the Redskins with a little more urgency in their pace I would but it's critical here at the end of the third quarter that they try to make this a two-score football game got to get good play selection here go with your go-to call inside the red zone and I think Jay Gruden's in four down territory looking for their first touchdown of the season only a three-man rush this time all day for Cousins and that is way out of bounds in the general direction of Jamison Crowder. Wow. Oh. Kirk Cousins has to step up and run. I mean, it's third down and seven. It's a three-man rush. Watch these Steelers bail out of there. There's nobody going to be open. There's going to be eight men in coverage. you got a clean pocket. Step up and run for it. But don't throw the ball away. you got a chance to make something happen with your legs against these three-man rushes. Yeah. And it's gotten the best of him tonight. One more time to find the receiver. As you said, he wasn't really pressured. But here's Dustin Hopkins. He's already connected from 31 and 40 and now from 34 yards. 3.01 to go, third quarter. Monday Night Football from Landover, Maryland. Kirk Cousins, Sean McVay, Sean Jackson still searching for answers and trying to find their first touchdown of the night on that Washington sideline. Great protection, three-man rush. You got to run. Try to create something with your legs, a scrambled drill, but don't throw the ball away. And I'm sure Jay Gruden's saying, hey, we prepare for the blitz, but they're not blitzing. They're rushing three guys. <laughs> we got to use your legs to create some offense. And credit the Steelers. They have come in here with huge blitz tendencies and have played nothing but zone. Dustin Hopkins kicks off. It'll be another touchback. Well, Coach John Gruden surprised some area youth football teams over the weekend. He paid a visit to the James Lee Razorbacks and the Annandale Bulldogs in Falls Church, Virginia. Saturday afternoon, we can report that the Razorbacks won the game. But both teams were winners. They got a visit from a legendary coach and television personality. And John presented checks to both coaches for $2,000, gave a pep talk, mingled with the kids. Man, I love these kids that get off the couch and go play football. We had a blast. Vic Sporting Goods, the big help. Huge. With our weekly initiative as we go around the country. Let's try somebody next week in Chicagoland. D'Angelo Williams out to the 30-yard line. D'Angelo Williams. Last year, five different games, he carried the ball 20 or more times. And he has a lot to do with me being fired in Tampa because he drove me crazy <laughs> in Carolina. And now he's down there tormenting my brother. Shame on you, D'Angelo. <laughs> what a player he is. 66 yards rushing. Well, maybe on Bell's a great talent. Having a hard time getting his act together. And there's not much drop-off when this guy's in the game. You mentioned, John, if Williams gets within two of another first down. 
his prolific career with Carolina and at the University of Memphis before. He, Tony Dorsett, and Ricky Williams are the only players in the history of the NFL and college football who rushed for 6,000 yards in both college and the NFL. And again, he sets up a short yardage situation where they have dominated the game with Roethlisberger, Williams, and the possibility of Ben pulling it and throwing it. Under a minute to go, third quarter, third down and two. There's seven for 11 on third down. Brown can't hang on with the shot. Breland closing in quickly. That's a huge stop for the Redskin defense. Tricky motion by Antonio Brown. Fooled the Redskins. Ben just missed the throw. Jordan Berry the punt just the second time tonight. The first was after their first possession when they went three and out. Jameson Crowder catches it at his six. And he brought it back to the 22. Vince Williams running down to cover the punt. 61 yard punt, 16 yard return. 19 seconds to go in the quarter. That's another area, John, your brother wants to see improvement punt return. They were 31st in the league last year in punt returns. They said Crowder's too talented. We need to give him more help to bring the ball back. They do indeed. And let's see if Cousins can try to create something against these loose Steelers zone coverages. Credit Randall Gay. Cockrell at left corner. And there's another one. Gets it down to Matt Jones. He gets nine. Banged to the turf by Ryan Shazier in what might be the last play of the quarter. Look for a moment like Cousins might bring them right up to the line, but the quarter's going to end. Impressive start to the season through three quarters for the Pittsburgh Steelers on the road on Monday night. It's a Monday Night Football doubleheader to get the season started. Coming up next, Todd Gurley and the Los Angeles Rams. After 22 years in St. Louis, back in Los Angeles, but on the road tonight in San Francisco to take on the 49ers. That's coming up next with Chris Berman, Steve Young, and Lindsey Zarniak. On to the fourth quarter here in Washington, D.C., Chris Thompson. And here's the zone coverage that I'm talking about. Here's a three-man rush. Look at the eight different Steelers fanning the field in zone coverage. You got to find the loose defenders and find completions. Here's a case where they have seven in coverage with a four-man rush. Just check the ball down, and that's what Cousins just did here to Jordan Reed. But the Steelers, Sean, they're missing Senquez Golden, the corner who's a second rounder. Artie Burns, their first round pick, a corner out of Miami, not playing. They don't have the coverage people to match up with these receivers. Keith Butler knows it. That's why they're playing all this zone coverage and forcing Cousins to check it down. Cousins throws. Good ball. His best throw of the night on target to Pierre Garçon back into Pittsburgh territory at the 37-yard line. And Keith Butler can't be happy with Cockrell. He's responsible for the flat sink. Get underneath it. Don't let him have these chunk plays. Make him throw the ball underneath. 19-yard game. He's going deep again on target and a good catch as Jamison Crowder got belted by Mike Mitchell. But it's a first down, and if Washington can punch it in the end zone here, all of a sudden it's a one-score game. It's the front to it pounded Kirk Cousins. Five catches tonight for the second year man out of Duke, Crowder. Over the middle. Vernon Davis escapes inside the 10 and down to the one yard line. Saw it yesterday, San Diego, Kansas City game. You just run out of gas, and Pittsburgh. Do they have enough pass rushers? Here's Vernon Davis doing what he did in San Francisco, taking short passes for big game. His first catch as a Redskin, number 462 of his career. 
First and goal, Chris Thompson with the first touchdown of the night for Washington. Pick up the tempo. We talked about it in the pregame. Fatigue. It takes its toll on the defensive linemen as much as anybody because they have to rush the passer repeatedly. Pound the ball off the right side. It's a nice job by Thompson. Bouncing it for six. Vernon Davis showing he can still block at the right end of that line. You know, a very important extra point for Hopkins, who was 39 out of 40 last year. He makes it to be an eight-point game, a one-score game with 13 minutes to go. And you talked about it in the top of the telecast. Substitution problems. There's another one. They're not going to get the kickoff. So this will be a 37-yard mm. extra point and a huge extra point because it makes it a one-possession game. Jay's looking for Ben Kotwika, the special teams coach. We saw it yesterday. You see it all the time early in these regular season games. Substitution, communication, fatigue issues late in games. The equivalent of a 38-yard kick now. There's a 38-yard kick, and it's right down the middle. They moved quickly that time, needed just two minutes and 18 seconds to go 77 yards. ESPN's Monday Night Football is brought to you by NFL Game Pass. Replay every game this season. Go to NFL.com slash Game Pass to start your free trial. This franchise founded as the Boston Braves in 1932, moved to Washington in 1937. They won five world championships, three Super Bowl titles. Joe Theismann, among the many Redskin legends here tonight, Doug Williams is also here. On the field before the game tonight, Sonny Jurgensen, part of the radio broadcast. Dustin Hopkins kicks off. Oh boy. Fitzgerald Toussaint. That's the first kickoff of the night by Hopkins. It wasn't a touchback, and they brought it out a couple of yards beyond the 25 yard line. Well, let's go back to what we talked about in the pregame with Susie and company, the issues that coaches are most concerned about in the first game. Well, communication, you've seen the Redskins struggle with some pre-snap penalties. They just had a problem with substitutions. And fatigue for both of these defenses is the number one issue. Tackling, it's deteriorating right now. And I still think special teams might decide it. Some young players in critical positions. Crowd back into it after the first Redskins touchdown of the night. From the 27, Ben Roethlisberger. 21 out of 30 passing tonight with three touchdown passes. Running out of time, just steps up and dumps it off for Williams. How many times have you seen that over the years? It looks like they're going to get him to the ground and they don't come close. Great pass protection, filling the way the left tackle. And Roethlisberger has all day to find a check down. Josh Norman, one of the few times we've seen him against Antonio Brown and Brown, looking for the rock. Four catches tonight for D'Angelo Williams. In addition to his 70 yards rushing. And he gets it on a draw. First down and more for Pittsburgh. He's out of bounds at the 41-yard line, chased out by Mason Foster. Tough night for Brashad Breeland and D'Angelo Williams on his draw play. Cuts it back, and you'll see 26 Breeland show up on your left side. No chance. Watch Roethlisberger in this shotgun work with his left guard, Ramon Foster. Foster is going to look behind him and see when Ben wants the ball. And when he does, he's going to tap Pouncey and let him know when to snap him. You just don't know which leg kick it's going to be on. Watch Foster tap Pouncey. 
I want Pouncey to keep his head up because he's calling the line calls and he needs to be looking at the defense and not looking back at Ben Roethlisberger. D'Angelo Williams carried out to the 45-yard line. Ben said it took Pouncey a long time to get comfortable with that. He was used to looking back between his legs at the quarterback. How, how would you like me to, to be slapping you while you're working? You wouldn't <laughs> like that either. But Pouncey's got to look for blitzes. He's got to look and survey the Redskin defense. Don't take your eyes off the Redskin. We'll have Foster tap you when we're ready. But watch Ben lift his heel. You just don't know if it's going to be on that first heel or the second. Roethlisberger to Jesse James for a first down. And that makes sense because... If they went ahead and snapped it every time Foster tapped Pouncey right. for the first time, then the defense would know that was coming and would be able to get off the ball quickly. And they have so many code words to tell these guys what the snap count is on. Foster just waiting for Big Ben. Brisky has got a blitz. Seems like he's in total control of this offense. The catch by James, by the way, fifth of the night. Williams dragged down by David Bruton. He's 33 years old, but he looks like the freshest man on the field. Doesn't matter how old this man is. I hope Le'Veon Bell is watching this game. Le'Veon Bell, I think, is the best running back in the NFL. I think he is clearly the best when you consider running and receiving and all the things he can do. But he's got to get it together off the field. But you got to credit Williams. He has 91 yards rushing. Under 10 minutes to go on second and two. D'Angelo. It's like pinball, man. Mm -hmm. How about Le'Veon Bell? Look at what he did in 2014, rushing and receiving. How elusive he is in the open field. He's got power to run through you. Le'Veon Bell on the field is great. He's an outstanding receiver. And he's a patient runner. He can do it all. On the field, I think he's the best. He's a work in progress off the field. I hope he gets it all together because he's in a contract year. Nice. Could be costing himself a lot of money. Everybody acknowledges the talent. Tucson down after a loss on the play. But right now, if you're another team pondering coming after Le'Veon Bell as a free agency, you're running the risks through your mind of is he going to have problems in the drug testing program again? And I think in this program under Mike Tomlin, one thing I've learned today, he's got a lot of young players that he can count on to deliver in some really difficult situations. Second and 13, Washington a blitz. The pass broken up, intended for Antonio Brown. Matched up with Josh Norman that time. One of the few times we've seen these two in man-to-man, one-on-one -man, -on -one coverage. And I'm surprised that they don't stay on the other side. Norman versus Brown. Third down and long. Joe Barry, the defensive coordinator of the Redskins, well known as a crunch time blitzer. When the game is on the line, if we're not getting pressure, he'll apply it himself. Looked like Brown told Coach, you go to the other side. I'm yeah. going to go to our left and work on Bashad Breland. Huge play here. They're really not in field goal range. All kinds of time for Roethlisberger, and there he is. Coach went to the right side of their formation, and he's the man that picks up the first down. No reroute at all. Josh Norman at left corner. Didn't get his hands on Coates. There was no reroute. Actually, he shocked him, but he slipped him so fast, the over-the-top coverage was late in arrival. Another conversion. They've been terrific on third and fourth down all night. And now Williams breaks the tackle. Has another first down with a late flag down at the end of the play. As it stands, Williams is over 100 yards rushing Holding. for the night. Offense, number 81. 10-yard penalty, replay, first down. It's Jesse James, the man we talked about earlier. He struggled tonight in pass protection. 
That's a big holding call with the game on the line. That's the man replacing Heath Miller. One of the great Pittsburgh Steelers. And it sets up first and long. Can the Redskins find a pass rush? First and 15, midway through the fourth quarter. Do they have enough left in the tank to come after Ben Roethlisberger? Fake one way and the pass to Williams, and that's well played by Mason Foster. Lost back to the 36-yard line. On the edge of field goal range now, and obviously three points for Pittsburgh would be huge here. Good preparation. They're going to fake a screen one way and run a screen back the other way. And Mason Foster, number 54, reads it beautifully. Makes a flush one-on-one -on -one tackle. And now the Steelers on the edge of field goal position. Four-yard loss on the last play. On second and 19, Ben pulls it down, throws a duck on the run, but it's caught by Brown. Boy, they have gone to work on Breeland all night. And Big Ben steps up in the pocket and makes an unbelievable throw. I think they're trying to run a speed screen to his right. He pulled it down and had the presence to find Antonio Brown. You said they've been working on Breeland all night. I'm sure a lot of our viewers are wondering, why can't Norman play the other side of the field? Why is he really only the left cornerback? Well, there's so many different formations. It affects everybody in the secondary, Sean. It's easier said than done. Mm -hmm. That's because they would spend the beginning part of the game seeing if Norman would travel. Oh. It's Williams traveling to the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Tackling, fatigue, and greatness. The Steelers have some magical players at the right positions. It's been Roethlisberger and Antonio Brown and a whole bunch of D'Angelo Williams. Watch the left side of your screen. It's a one-back power play. Good blocking by the wide receiver. And once again, Breland misses an open field tackle. Touchdown, Steelers. And it goes hand-in-hand hand with what you're talking about, perhaps fatigue. In the first game of the year, fourth quarter, Breland's been charged with watching Antonio Brown all day long. That was a tired-looking attempt at a tackle. Chris Boswell, the extra point. D'Angelo Williams, a 100-yard game, 114 rushing. There's a flag on the PAT. Offside, defense, number 24. The kick is good. That penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Timeout. Roethlisberger, the maestro at work again. Seven minute, 13 yard drive. D'Angelo Williams at 33, the oldest running back in the league. They're fullbacks older, but at age 33, he's rushed for 114 yards. The oldest to rush for 100 plus in the NFL since Fred Taylor, then with the Patriots, had a 100 yard game in 2009. Chris Boswell kicks off. It'll be a touchback. And Washington ball at the 25-yard line with a lot of work to do on a big night for Williams. It's the second half of our Monday Night Football doubleheader. Lane Gabbert will be the starting quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers. Game one for Chip Kelly as coach of San Francisco as they host the Los Angeles Rams in just a few moments here on ESPN. Kirk Cousins out throwing. First down, 12-yard gain to Deshaun Jackson. Going to be no huddle offense, obviously. You see number 54 just checked into the game. L.J. Fort trying to get some fresh horses on the field for the Steelers. We talked to Keith Butler, the defensive coordinator, last night. He said nobody is in shape at the beginning of the year. Cousins hit as he throws. And no oh. whistle yet. It's a live ball. L.J. Fort applied the pressure. The ball was run into the end zone. And no signal of a touchdown either. Mike Mitchell picked up the ball. And the officials are going to talk about it. L.J. Fort just ran right over Chris Thompson. 
We mentioned just in for fresh legs. <laughs> Incomplete pass. It's what you do. You got to put some fresh people the in the game. Is that the quarterback's arm is going forward? It's an incomplete pass. And if you're Chris Thompson, you got to do a lot better job of that one-on-one -on -one pass protection. He's been primarily a third down back for them because he is a good pass protector. Not that time. It's a good call, but credit for and being held by Thompson. The rush in the fort. <laughs> the fort stormed the fort. Oh, false start. Ryan Shazier out of the game. Timer. Another reason. Please reset the clock to five minutes, 20 seconds. False start. Offense, number 77. Five-yard penalty. Second down. Sean Laval, the left guard. Ninth Washington penalty. Ryan Shazier is out of the game. Shazier's tired. He's been all over the field tonight. And he's also, I'm sure, got that sore knee. And they're going to be very careful with him. He is a great young linebacker. We're told it is a knee issue. He obviously did not look to be in any distress. But injuries have plagued him in his first two years. Big job for him staying on the field. Incomplete pass for Jamison Crowder with Mike Mitchell defending. Well, Chris Thompson is going to have a short career as a third down back. This is back-to-back -back blitz pickups where he gets punished. Once by fourth, that time Timmons pushes the pocket back into Cousins' face. Undersized third down back early in the season. Got to do a better job than that. He's 5'8", 195 pounds. Washington three out of eight on third down tonight. This is third and 15. Four-man rush. Cousins, plenty of time, and throws a very short ball. Reed had no chance to get anywhere near the marker. William Gay leading the charge defensively, and the offense is remaining on the field with under five minutes to go, down by 15. And facing fourth down. Fourth down and 10. Just watch the Steelers in this zone coverage. Seven defenders fanning the field deep. We're going to force this ball to be thrown underneath. Just about a much must convert situation here for Washington. Cousins chase. Across the line of scrimmage, didn't get the first down. Knocked out of bounds, about two yards short of the marker by Arthur Motes. And the Steelers will take over on downs. Good pressure by Stephon Tuitt to chase Cousins out of the pocket. He needed 10, he got eight. Creative rush plan, a blitz a linebacker, drop the defensive end, play zone coverage, and good hustle to the ball by Hayward and Motes. Mm. Pittsburgh leading by two touchdowns, led by Roethlisberger's 284 and three touchdowns. D'Angelo Williams, 114 yards rushing. And Antonio Brown doing what he does. Over 100 yards receiving. Here's Williams again. Oh. Redskin run defense. A weakness last year, and they have a long way to go this year. Mm -hmm. Pittsburgh, after that early interception, has run the ball right down their throat. Hundred and twenty six yards rushing. Brown on the sideline for a moment. Marcus Berg will take the play clock all the way down to three. And will Pittsburgh or Washington rather use a timeout? Yes, they will. That's the GMC postgame for analysis and breakdown of our game coming up as part of Sports Center. That'll be over on ESPN 2 after we're finished with this game. Of course, here on ESPN will be the Rams and the 49ers.
And John, for your brother in the Redskins, really an important year. Nine and seven a year ago, off of four and twelve, they're all important years. They're all important years. <laughs> but it's a franchise that is trying to find traction and has been doing so for two decades. They haven't had back-to-back -back winning seasons since '96 and '97. Yeah, trying to build winning. off the momentum of a year ago. Williams again, not the start they were hoping for, but they were two and four last year and got it turned around. Timeout. We'll step aside with 3:19 to go. Well, we're back in FedEx Field, but you might think you're at Heinz Field. A lot of the Redskin fans have left, and now it's the Pittsburgh fans making their presence known with the terrible towels being waved throughout the stadium. 79,124 here tonight. Roethlisberger, another wobbly ball. It doesn't matter. This is a freak show right here. Number 84's incredible body control hands. It's his conditioning and work ethic competitiveness that separates Antonio Brown. He practices a mm. hundred miles an hour every single day year round. This guy's recliner in his house is a treadmill. <laughs> he eats dinner on a Roman chair while he's doing abdominal crunches. He's the most interesting man in the world. Is that I have not next? seen a guy like this. I'm not kidding you since the great Jerry Rice. He's got that type of work ethic. Williams carries again. Brown with eight catches for 126 yards and two touchdowns. And he's still at the relative beginning, or at least in the middle of his career, in the seventh year. He had 526 receptions through the first six years, more than any receiver in the history of the NFL. So it's early to start talking about him among the all-time greats, but he's doing things no one has done before. Led the league in receptions two years ago, tied with Julio Jones. The only player in the history of the league with two seasons of 125 plus. We asked him last night, no one's ever had 2,000 yards receiving in a season. Can you do it? He just smiled at us. I think he thinks he would have done it last year had Roethlisberger not been injured. Two minute warning in Washington. They're getting ready out in the Bay Area. Carlos Hyde and the 49ers going to host the Rams. Rams trying to take that next step. Jeff Fisher said in the preseason. No more seven and nine. They become a competitive team. Now they need to be a playoff contending team. Second and five from the six. Pittsburgh already leading by 15. D'Angelo Williams, this will be easy. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. That counter play is hard to stop. A lot of misdirection and Credit the Steelers offensive line as well. Over 150 yards rushing, no sacks allowed. They dominated the line of scrimmage. Watch the tight end come in motion and then come back where he came from. Jesse James, the Castro, you can't block an old-fashioned counterplay any better than that. But I like looking out there. I, that Villanueva, that left tackle. Army Ranger, Sean, all the publicity surrounding the National Anthem over the weekend. How about what he stands for and how he played tonight? Three tours in Afghanistan, sings every word of the National Anthem that he did again tonight. The Love extra it. point makes it 38-16. to 16. John Gruden, Lisa Salters back at FedEx Field. Where the result is no longer in doubt. Pittsburgh's going to win on opening night for just the second time in the last six years, and Washington will lose its season opener for the fourth year in a row. Boswell's kick off a touchback. Here's Lisa. Yeah, Sean, well, just three years ago, uh, two years ago, really, Villanueva was in Afghanistan serving his third tour of duty, and despite how proud he was of the work that he was doing over there, he said he never gave up the dream of playing in the NFL. He said they didn't have TVs over there, but when the pilots would come once a week to drop off supplies, they'd also give the scores of previous NFL games, and that's really what guys look forward to hearing every week. He said he didn't know how he was going to get back into the game, but now that he's here, he still thinks about his time overseas. He described it to me as the best experience of his life. Not a good one, he said, but life-changing. He said, I remember going there as a boy, and I came back as a man. And now he's the left tackle. It's in first series, Sean. Very impressive man. We had a chance to visit with him last night. 
<laughs> Gained 100 pounds. I mean, out of football for a long time. Went to Philadelphia. They tried him out as a defensive lineman. He never quit. Went to Pittsburgh. Kelvin Beecham got hurt last year. Missed 12 games. They call on Villanueva to be the left tackle. And he's still the left tackle. Cousins' first attempt incomplete for Jackson. This one's on target to Jordan Reed. 11-yard gain, first down, Washington. See Josh Dotson, their first-round draft choice at the top of the screen, number 18. Been hurt all throughout training camp. Achilles problems are trying to get him involved in this offense. That goes all the way back to May. He's practiced Dotson. almost not at all. There he is, right on cue. Coach Gruden, his first career catch out of TCU. Redskins, as we said in the beginning of this show, Sean, they've got to find a running game. Mm -hmm. Take pressure off of Cousins. Didn't get it done tonight. And Pittsburgh's a hard team to run against. Alfred Morris left as a free agent. His numbers have been declining each of the previous four years. Long ball and a flag down intended for Deshaun Jackson with Ross Cockrell in coverage. And Jackson, when he gets even, he's leaving, Pass as they say. Defense, number 31. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. First down. Ball slightly underthrown, and... Cockrell, number 31. Clearly got there early. Jackson has had some big plays tonight. Good to see him running around. Like we're accustomed to seeing. Mm -hmm. He's had two receptions of 30 plus, and that's a long penalty. Takes the ball to the nine yard line. 46 yard penalty. But under a minute to go, Kirk Cousins and the Redskins down by 22. Jamison Crowder down to the three yard line. Golden and Gay there. One timeout left. They won't use it. Cousins trying to line them up quickly. Cousins throws it away. And Pittsburgh just daring Kirk Cousins to hand the ball off. They've got seven eight Pittsburgh Steelers in the end zone great job by Mike Tomlin and his coaching staff coming in here tonight with a big win and you said it earlier Jay Gruden got work to do short week you mentioned the lack of the running game for Washington they've tried only 12 running plays tonight compared to what will be 43 passes now that's deflected and almost intercepted or is it intercepted James Harrison it's a catch and a touchback and an interception for the 38 year old in his 14th year his eighth career interception added pass in the story of the night that three man rush hit the ground but apparently it did not mm hmm yeah. Thought it was wobbling around on the ground. Going to be incomplete. But it doesn't really matter. It doesn't, but it certainly Plus, looked like he didn't have possession and it hit the ground. And the officials are conferring now. Under two minutes to go in the half and a change of possession play that's automatically reviewed looks like they're going to let it go and apparently they thought he caught it at this juncture I don't think the Redskins carried it impressive performance by Ben Roethlisberger three touchdown passes tonight An old pals Gruden and Tomlin exchange a hug. 
275 career touchdown passes now for Roethlisberger, tied for 12th all time with Vinny Testaverde. Back with more from Washington right after this.